Hello, I'm Timothy Jordan, and I'd like to thank you for helping The Dev Show get to its 50th episode. Thank you. <laughs> Please keep clicking and sharing so we can bring you another 50 updates about the coolest developer news from Google. Here's this last week. We recently rolled out the final update to the Android 7.1 developer preview. It includes the developer features already available on Pixel and Pixel XL devices and adds optimizations and bug fixes on top of the base Android 7.1 platform. For more information on what's included, check out the post linked in the description below. The Google Maps APIs have several services that you can use to convert addresses into coordinates. The geocoding API, the place autocomplete service in places API, and the place search service in places API. To better understand the differences between them and when you should use each one, take a look at the post. We introduced the next generation of universal app campaigns to help you show your apps to the iOS and Android customers that matter most based on your specific business goals. Now we've got new innovations to make your holiday app campaigns more engaging and effective, covering immersive video ads, new ways to showcase your app on Google Play, and using play data to find users who are likely to make a purchase. Details are on the post. And while you're at it, check out some display ads innovations as well, including catalog experience with Gmail ads and responsive ads. Chrome will soon mark non-secure pages containing password and credit card input fields as not secure in the URL bar. You should really update your site to avoid this warning. For some help with that, check out this post. Firebase app indexing for personal content lets users find personal content like messages, notes, music, and more across apps like OpenTable, Ticketmaster, Evernote, and Gmail from a single search box. And now it's available to all Android developers. Starting with version 10.0, the Firebase app indexing API on Android lets you add your app content to Google's on-device index in the background and update it in real time as users make changes in the app. Getting started is easy, and the details are on the post. You can now start using Firebase Test Lab for Android at no charge. Head on over to the post to get started today. By creating a set of declarative templates, Google Cloud Deployment Manager lets you consistently deploy, update, and delete resources like Google Compute Engine, Google Container Engine, Google BigQuery, Google Cloud Storage, and Google Cloud SQL. It's a great way to manage and automate your cloud environment. And this is an awesome post with lots of links and code that'll help you get started. We're excited to announce that Google Compute Engine will support Intel's latest custom cloud solution based on the next generation Xeon processor, codenamed Skylake, in early 2017. The upcoming Xeon processor is an excellent choice for graphics rendering, simulations, and any CPU intensive workload. If you'd like to be notified of upcoming beta testing programs, fill out the form linked on the post in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe and share. I'm Timothy Jordan, and I'll see you next week with episode 51. And as a bonus, here's a look at the last 50 episodes. This is your update about the coolest developer news from Google in the last week. Okay, if you're as excited as I am, this first link is for you. Android N is now available. It's got a simple interface and, well, cats. Lots and lots of cats. Okay, cool. We tried recording the show from the airplane, but they just weren't having it. This week I'm at AndDevCon in Boston. From the High Line in New York City, Tokyo, Berlin, the YouTube space in LA. Well, that was fun. And I'm here with Magnus. Hi, Magnus. Hey. I don't think there's any job in the world that you're working with more optimistic people who are trying to solve amazing problems. And I'm standing here with Mary Grove. So Chet Haas is here. He's here with Dion and Ben. Hello, gentlemen. How's Hello, Mr. Pete LePay. Hello, Mr. Timothy Jordan. With my buddy Josh. Dan Shapiro, Johnny Lee, Eric Johnson. Yes, that's correct. I want to hug it. You want to hug it? Amazing. Tune in during your commute, at the gym, mowing the lawn, cooking dinner, or wherever. You know that we're all really excited about machine learning. I have just a few updates to share, so let's see how fast I can get you back to work. With a tornado of fish. Goodbye to canvas hacks and animated GIFs. Yes, I said GIF. Let's just move on. OK, if you're as excited as I am, this first link is for you. Don't forget to subscribe. 
because subscribing is caring. And that's our show. Hello, I'm Timothy Jordan, and this is your update about the tools developer news from Google in the last week. We've partnered with Udacity to create the VR developer Nano. When you take the course, you learn how to create Thanks for watching this week's episode of The Developer Show. For some of our past episodes, click here or here.